click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video we are going to see various parameters that can be used for analysis of full wave rectifier that is full wave bridge rectifier as well as full wave rectifier with center tap transformer. The first four main parameters are DC or average load current, DC or average load voltage, RMS load current and RMS load voltage. That means VLDC, RLDC, VLRMS and ILRMS. So let's begin with the parameters. The first parameter that we need to consider for analysis of full wave rectifier is DC or average load current that is nothing but ILDC. We know that any periodic function having average value is nothing but area covered by that function in one cycle. In case of full wave rectifier, we'll get output in both the half cycle, that means in positive as well as in negative half cycle. Therefore, in case of output waveform of full wave rectifier, whether it is center tap transformer rectifier or full wave bridge rectifier, the complete cycle is from 0 to pi. The cycle repeats itself after every pi interval only. Therefore, in this case, we are going to consider the area as 0 to pi. Therefore, the value of ILDC is given as ILDC equals to 1 upon pi integration 0 to pi im sin omega t d omega t. When we solve the equation, we will come to know that the value of ILDC is equal to 2 im divided by pi, which is equal to 0 0.636 into im. Now, this value is exactly double than the value of ILDC in case of half wave rectifier. So, the half full wave rectifier provides us double value of load current as compared to half wave rectifier. The second parameter that we are going to see in case of full wave rectifier is nothing but a DC or average load voltage that is nothing but VLDC. So by using Ohm's law we know that V is equal to IR. So VLDC is equal to ILDC into RL. We know that value of ILDC is 2 IM divided by 5. Therefore, by substituting this value, we can get the value of VLDC as 2 Vm divided by pi, which is nothing but 0 0.636 into Vm. This value is also exactly double than the half wave rectifier. The next parameter that we are going to consider is nothing but ILRMS, that is RMS load current. In case of RMS load current also, we are going to consider the output current waveform of full wave rectifier in which we will get output in both the half cycle positive as well as negative and we are also going to consider the same interval that means 0 to pi. So the value of ILRMS is nothing but IM divided by square root of 2 where IM is your peak current and IM is equal to VM divided by RS plus RF plus RL. This value of IM is for full wave rectifier with center tap transformer. But if it is a bridge rectifier, then value of IM becomes VM divided by RS plus 2RF plus RL. Now, moving towards the next type of parameter that is RMS load voltage. The RMS load voltage is nothing but VRMS VL or VLRMS. So, VLRMS is nothing but VM divided by square root of 2. So these are the four parameters that can be used for analysis of full wave rectifier whether it is center tap transformer rectifier or full wave bridge rectifier. So I hope you understand this video. By using these parameters we can solve number of problem based on full wave rectifier. Therefore thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.